Welcome back once again to my YouTube class. I am Manjit Rawat, your online instructor. This is another session of VMware Virtualization vSphere 7.0. And in this video, in this class, basically, I am going to describe about how we can add our domain controller to ESXi. We'll also try to understand about the usage of our domain controller means how domain can perform the task in our virtual environment. So this is our agenda. Firstly, we need to know about the concept means the prerequisite and procedure, how we can add our domain controller to ESXi and we'll also discuss about the benefits of domain controller in virtual environment. So before that, I'm just going to show you the prerequisite. I'm going to show you the uh, setup that I created for domain con connecting domain activity this is our esxi 7.0 and another i have already installed a one domain controller on server 2016 so you can consider it as, as a domain and this is our 7.0 we will add our domain controller to esxi host but before that we also need to know about why it is important why we need to add our domain controller to esxi so we have a various benefits means uh, if we talk about real environment so every organization if you establish your environment if any organization establish our virtual environment they must need to involve domain controller because we have a n number of benefits of uh, active directory services so let's try to understand about the concept first and after that we'll move ourselves to the setup and discuss about the procedure guys for example this is our esxi that we establish our in our environment maybe uh, you created a multiple esxi esxi host 1 2 3 4 n number of esxi host you can add up in your real environment this is our domain controller which is uh, configured on uh, server 2016 this is our domain system and which is installed on server 2016 okay our agenda as we know that both system must be ping to each other means the communication is really important because connection you know that you are unable to convert your uh, work group must into domain controller so think like this same like as a uh, this is our client operating system it may be windows 10 or 7 so you need to convert from work group to domain but in case of esxi host what we need to do for example this is esxi host 1 and another is esxi host 2 so uh, you must need to convert entire ESXi from uh, normal, I mean from work group you can say that to domain controller, it's mandatory uh, because without domain you are unable to perform lots of tasks. So it's mandatory to involve a domain controller in our real environment. Okay, everything is okay. I'm going to check the IP address of our domain controller and IP address of our ESXi because we are performing the real activity. Fine, class.com is our domain controller, means uh, and uh, about the ESXi, the IP address of ESXi is 192.168.1.18. The IP address of ESXi is 18 and I want to verify the address of our uh, domain controller. One ninety two one sixty eight dot one dot twenty five. this is the IP address of our domain controller. So, let's try to understand. ESXi 192.168.1.18 About the domain controller, the IP address of our domain controller is 192.168.1.25, right? So R is in to convert our machine, convert our ESXi from normal condition to domain controller. Let's try to understand about the benefits, why domain controller is important. The first one is for name resolution. So uh, name resolution in the sense, you know that um, we have a two different way to access our ESXi one with the help of our IP address and if you configure the domain controller so you can access your ESXi with the help of name as well. Because if uh, maybe your uh, ESXi IP address is changed so we have option to access our ESXi host uh, with the help of name. So first option is used for the name resolution. Second option is related to the user, domain user, not a normal user. You can say that. Domain user and permissions means after converting your ESXi to domain controller, after uh, converting your ESXi to part of domain, you are able to access your uh, user that you created in your active directory. Third option is related to the manage uh, PDC, manage uh, NTP, not PDC, 
NTP with the help of PDC emulator. So NTP means network time protocol that can help you to synchronize the timing between ESXi virtual machine and uh, our domain controller that you convert th that you install in our environment. Fourth, to install the vCenter. To install vCenter means if you plan to install vCenter server or vCenter appliance in our environment, you must need to install at least. Uh, you must need to install at least one domain controller in our environment. Without domain, we are unable to install uh, vCenter server or we are unable to install our vCenter ser uh, server appliance. So this is our agenda. These are the features that you will be get after installing the domain controller. So I'm just going to show you the step how you can convert your ESXi to uh, domain controller. The part of how we can make it the part of domain controller. Firstly, you need to verify you are able to communicate with ESXi host. So I'm just going to ping with the help of server 192.168.1.18. We are able to access means uh, reply. It means that you are able to communicate. I'm just going to access our ESXi host. So as we know that the ESXi host contain IP address of uh, 192.168.1.18. Right. Press enter and open your GUI panel. Right, so we must need to access it with the help of GUI and after that we'll convert it to, the, we'll make it a part of domain controller. Fine. To join our uh, ESXi to with domain controller, what you need to do, you just need to open your ESXi with the help of web client. And uh, now we are getting the name of our domain, name of our ESXi is localhost.local domain. It means that you are still in work group. You can say that it, you are still in work group. So our agenda to convert our work group machine to domain controller means we need to convert our ESXi to the part of domain controller. Uh, this is our uh, domain controller that we installed in server 2016. Let me check the number of users are uh, uh, number of number of users which is available in our domain controller because we will access the same user uh, to log in our ESXi 7.0. Do one thing. I'm going to create a one user, but before that, we need to convert our ESXi and after that back to the domain controller. Although I have already created in HR AWS user and uh, GCP user is available in our domain controller. Need to verify your uh, IP address. So the IP address of our uh, server operating system, our domain controller is 192.168.1.25. This is the IP address of our domain controller because it's really important. Step first, need to open your DS, DCUI uh, uh, panel, DCUI uh, console, you can say that, that uh, user uh, access console and make few changes with your ESXi with the help of CLI panel, with the help of DCUI panel. We are able to find the first step is configure network management. Just need to click here, select IPv4 and uh, currently we are using dynamic IP address. So if you want to convert your uh, ESXi to the domain controller, to, you want to make a part of domain controller. So you must need to use the static IP address. So drag and drop, just uh, drop a second, third option, press space bar to select the uh, static IP address, no need to make any changes 192.168.1.18. This is the IP address of our ESXi. I don't want to change the gateway. 1.1 is our gateway. Press enter. First step. Second, you need to configure DNS configuration setting. In the DNS, you must need to use the following address. We don't want to use any kind of dynamic IP address. So that's why I need to proceed and provide the static IP address to ESXi host. Primary DNS, you must need to provide the IP address of our domain controller that you installed, right? We don't have alternate DNS, so I'm going to use 8.8.8. .8 so it's a Google address, so I'm just going to use 8.8.8. .8 this is the place where we can set the name of our uh, domain controller. So I want to proceed with name of ESXi, right? Press enter. Again, last option is related to the custom DNS suffix, open. And you can type any name related to your DNS, related to your ESXi. So I'm um, just going to type the name esxi.class.com, okay? esxi.class.com. Press enter. Press the skip button and 
Y for yes to save the changes. Then no need to do anything. We successfully changed the uh, IP address. We just configure the manual IP address and provide the information about our domain controller. Both machines are communicating to each other. Now back to the GUI panel. This is the GUI option of our ESXi host. Click on do host, the first option which is available. No, need to click on the manage which is available in our GUI inventory. Security and users, click on the security and user. And we have a number of options acceptation label, authentication, certificate, certificates, users, role, lockdown mode. So we just need to proceed with authentication. And join domain, there are no domains controller available. So you just need to click on join domain and provide the domain name so our domain name is class.com username you should use uh, local administrator and password that you use to configure and install your active directory services and simple need to click on join domain okay if everything is okay we will convert our domain we will convert our uh, esxi we will make it a part of our domain controller so see we are able to find class.com successfully connected with our esxi host so guys this is the these all are the step that you can use to convert your uh, esxi to make a uh, part of domain controller right so i hope you all of you understand about the concept of uh, active directory services with esxi or virtual environment we'll discuss more about it we'll discuss about the users management and permissions but in next session so let me know guys if you have any question or doubt and we'll connect next and discuss more about the domain controller for today take care bye bye and please do subscribe my channel and share with your uh, friends and office click take care bye bye